My name is Naomi Joy. Today's rebounder workout is a strength and cardio circuit class with dumbbells. I've created a variety of circuits targeting the entire body. Some of the exercises will be repeated twice and some will only be completed once on each side of the body. I'll be using a set of 10 pounds and 15 pounds. Take breaks if you need to, have fun, and let me know what you thought of the class. If you enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and to support me and to help me grow this channel, please subscribe. Let's warm up. Chin is in, shoulders are down and back, belly button hugs to spine. Let's open the chest by squeezing the shoulder blades together. Feet are grounded in the earth and we're breathing. Now circling the elbows, mobilizing the shoulder joint, staying connected to the core. Lateral lunge, hip, knees, and toes are turned out on a 45 degree angle. Sit back with your weight in your heels, chest is up and spine is straight. Squeeze your shoulder blades together as you stand. Alternating high lunge with a lateral stretch. Hips are square to the front. Tailbone is tucked under by engaging the lower abs. Make sure your front knee is stacked over top of your ankle. Lift your opposite arm and lean to the direction of the front leg. Remember to breathe. As you hinge from the hips, push your hips behind you with more weight in your heels. Focus on keeping your back straight. In your plank, stack your shoulder blades over your hands and widen your shoulder blades on your back. Pull your belly button in and engage your glutes, core, and legs. Step your right leg wide to the outside of your mat. Inhale to open your chest to the sky and exhale to round the back, elbow reaching to the ground. Switching sides, remember to take big deep breaths. We're opening up our body. Let's get bouncing. We have an alternating heel tap, flexing the front foot. Pull your belly button in, push down into the rebounder and use your upper body.
double bounce twist side to side. We have a slight hinge at the hips. Knees are bent with a little more weight in the heel. Keep your core tight and twist your hips side to side. Arms are strong and elbows are lifted. Double knee bounce. As you lift your knee, exhale and engage your core. Focus on keeping your standing knee bent with your weight in your heel. Here's our first move. Ground through your feet. Draw your belly button to spine and bend your knees. Shoulders are back and down. As the arms tee back, squeeze your shoulder blades together. To modify, bend your elbows. Lateral lunge with a lateral raise. Bend into your right knee and lift with your left arm. Sit deep into the lunge with your weight in your heel. Chest is lifted, spine is straight. As you stand tall, hold for a moment and squeeze your abs. Switch sides. Your left leg is bending and your right arm is lifting. Keep your opposite arm straight and strong. Use your exhale to stand, push down through your feet and squeeze your glutes. Here's our last exercise in this circuit. Pull your belly button in, push down into the trampoline and twist your hips side to side. Keep the weight close to your body and move it in the opposite direction as your hips. Oh,
Now we're strengthening our upper back. Sit back with your weight in your heels. Chest is up, spine is straight. Hold for a moment at the top and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Slowly lower with control. You're on a wire until it breaks. You can't be thinking you ain't got what it takes. This time you better drink your cup Don't got all day, you gotta hurry up So shake, down, hold up Better the feeling than ever believing it Shake, down, hold up Moving around as we hit the ground You better shake, down, hold up You better shake, down, hold up We have a push-up and a side plank on the right hand. You have the option of lifting a weight with your left hand. To protect your shoulder, keep the weight close to your chest as you lift and lower it. Modify these moves with bent knees and skip the added weight. Aiming for our target, kicking with our right leg and punching with the left arm. Continue to push down into the trampoline and give me tons of energy. Back to the push-up and we're side planking on the left arm, right arm is lifting to the sky. I'm mirroring you. Keep your back straight by engaging your core, glutes, and legs. So shake, don't hold us. 
As you lower down into that push-up, chest is between your hands. Now your left leg is kicking and your right arm is punching. Keep the opposite fist lifted by your jaw and aim for your target. This one requires some coordination. In your squat, sit back with your weight in your heels, knees are pressing out, chest is up, spine is straight. As you lift up, cross your inner thighs together and lift the elbows by engaging the upper back. Switch which leg crosses in front each rep. You can always modify this move with a basic jack. Try and sit low, hips lower than knees. Make sure your knees are pressing out, core is hugged in, and your chest is proud. Pulse for two and squeeze your glutes to stand. Push down into the earth. You held me back when I tried to move on from your life, so you stole my life.
We're moving on to the next circuit. Push down into the rebounder, keep your core tight and make sure your shoulders are away from your ears. In this tricep press, gather your elbows into your ears. As you straighten the arms overhead, squeeze your upper abs and widen your shoulder blades on your back. Keep your knees bent with your feet grounding into the earth. We have two moves coming up on this one side. Left leg is forward and right leg is stepping back. As you step back, keep your chest lifted with a slight hinge at the hips. As you step forward, squeeze through your glutes and core to help stabilize the lower back. We're staying on this one side, left leg is forward, right leg is back. Get low in this isometric lunge by bending into the back knee and tucking your tailbone under. As you curl, make sure your chest stays lifted and your shoulders are back and down. You think you know We have the same flow on the opposite side, right leg forward, left leg back. Make sure that your front knee is stacked over top of your ankle and that you're balancing evenly from the inner and outer foot.
low in this isometric lunge, right leg forward, left leg back. Control your weights, go slowly, make sure you're breathing. circuit with this alternating kick punching forward with the opposite arm if you're pissed off about something take it out with this move give me lots of energy We have 90 seconds on this one. Place your weight behind the left knee. Right knee is stacked under hip. Right forearm is down and the left hand is in a push-up position. As you kick up, flex your foot, squeeze your booty and avoid arching your lower back by engaging your core. In the last 30 seconds, we're gonna hold at the top and pulse.
Switching sides. Now the weight is behind your right knee. Left forearm is down, right arm is in a push-up position. Avoid leaning into the standing hip. Keep that hip stacked over top of the knee. Remember to keep your core tight and squeeze the booty on the lift. is a tough one. We're targeting the side glutes and obliques. Bend the bottom leg and make sure your body is in one straight line. Keep your glutes and core tight to stabilize the lower back. Make sure that the front thigh is in parallel so your knee is pointing to the side of your mat. Feel free to take breaks and lower your hips at any time. We're going to be pulsing for the last 30 seconds. sides. Keep in mind that the second side is always harder. Focus on breathing, relax your shoulders, you can do this.
this is our last bit of cardio. Now we're only gonna be sprinting once, so I want you to give it your all. Push down into the trampoline and use your upper body. Let's go. We're finishing off strong with one round of core and back exercises. Make sure that you're breathing into your back and side body. Your belly button is hugged in and that your back is flat to the ground. To modify, bend your knees and just don't lower your legs so far. As the arms lift overhead, focus on closing in through the floating ribs by engaging your upper abs. 60 seconds is a long time, so if you start to feel it in your back, take a break. Head, engage your lats under your armpits. Squeeze your inner thighs together and only lower your legs as far as you can go without lifting up your lower back. arms overhead working the upper core legs are circling out to in back is flat core is in just do your best take breaks if you need to Strengthening our upper back, 
feet are glued to the ground. Belly button is hugged to spine and glutes are engaged. Lift your chest, draw your shoulder blades down your back and squeeze your elbows into the ribs. To our last exercise. Arms are at the side of the body, thumbs are turned out. As you lift your chest, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Hug in through your inner thighs and reach through your feet. Remember to breathe and hold at the top for a moment. Amazing work, you did it. Let's press the hips back to child's pose, reach your arms forward and breathe into your back. We'll start with a hip flexor stretch. Step back with your left leg knee to trampoline. Square your pelvis by engaging the lower abs and squeeze through your back glute. Lift your chest up and breathe. Lift the left arm up and we're gonna reach up and over to the right side, reaching through the fingertips, breathing into the side body. And you have the option to take a quad stretch, reaching back with the left hand and holding the ankle or the foot. Flex your foot and kick away from your body to stabilize your knee. As you do this, turn your chest forward and lift your heart up to the sky. release and we'll switch sides stepping back with the right knee right arm lifts and we reach up and over to the left Quad stretch, square your body forward and lift your chest. We're gonna sit down on the trampoline, feet together, knees wide. Hold your ankles and lift your chest up, spine is straight. Breathe in and exhale, bow down. Breathe into your back, relax your face and let go of tension. Now we're gonna take a shoulder stretch. 
palms are up and we're gonna cross the left elbow under the right, sit up tall. And now you're gonna turn your belly chest to one direction. Lift the arms up and press the arms away from the face to deepen the stretch in the upper back. Back to center and we're gonna turn the opposite way, root down through your opposite sit bone. Open the arms, right elbow under left, inhale and exhale, twist, keep breathing. Switching directions, keep the chest lifted and the spine straight. Release, beautiful, let's lay down on our back, figure four stretch. Flex your foot, and you have the option of twisting the hips away from that front leg. Switching sides. Please let me know what you thought of this workout. This video was shot in Hastings Park, really close to that Ferris wheel from my video from last week. Let's take a hamstring stretch, flex the foot, straighten your leg, push up through your heel and breathe. If you enjoyed the workout, then please give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> and if you haven't already, please subscribe to support me. Let's switch sides. Let's start now in seated. So sit up tall, we'll take a neck stretch. So walk your hands to the side, chin in, and tilt your ear to the side. Press down through your opposite shoulder. Inhale tall, other side. Now we'll interlace the fingers behind our back and squeeze the shoulder blades to open the chest. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you soon.